Oh, uh, hey guys, it's me again, and um, I wanted to tackle a topic which, I mean, it does get talked about, but I feel like it doesn't really get talked about, um, by the people that it affects or affected at one time, and that's um really food and poverty um now as you all know i i grew up poor uh, obviously i was you know poor latino immigrants um raised by single parents at first and um you know i lived with my mom and then with my dad um after he came back um but yeah well what what can i say um i've already talked about it somewhat during the great recession uh, um there were days where literally we had the same food three times a day if we were lucky we would get maybe a tomato with it or something like that but it was literally just sausage sausage and egg and and Beans, maybe. Beans, maybe. Now, the good thing is that, I mean, even among the higher classes, a staple Guatemalan food is huevos, frijoles, and tortillas, bro. And that shit is cheap. That shit is <laughs> nothing. Um, Like, so even... Even my dad, who was upper middle class to high class... I mean, he still ate that shit, <laughs> like, like, and it didn't really bother us, but I mean, bros, bros, what do you know about the cheap, like, one dollar TV dinner, bro, with the meat that, like, probably wasn't even meat that much, they probably used some soy soy filler some vegetable filler man for like 60% of it that shit was crunchy <laughs> what do you guys know about that literally man you want to talk about soy boys I've been scarfing down soy since the beginning of my my life, no, no, I'm, no, but seriously, I mean, those, those TV dinners give me trauma, friends, like, like, I, I don't understand how processed food in the United States manages to be somehow simultaneously the most like malnutritious food of all time while having like the most salt the most fat of all time brothers and sisters like like in I remember it was just this slop, like, oh, and you know what? The freaking desserts, bro, the freaking brownie that would get, that would get stuck to the side of the, of the plastic thing, <laughs> and, 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 like, obviously there were knockoff brands, right, instead of, Instead of, um, cereal boxes, we would get cereal bags. Like, bags of freaking cereal, guys. And, like, <laughs> it would have, it would have, like, the, 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 like, characters and stuff. 
but it would be like a knockoff brand, like for the Frosted Flakes thing, it was a polar bear. I remember that, like, it had to just be legally distinct enough. Um, that's something that I will say. I feel like most knockoff brands, it doesn't even really matter. The, the flavor isn't really all that different. But what I, but the one exception, the one exception, um, brothers and sisters, um, was, was Pop-Tarts. Bro, knockoff, great value, great value Pop-Tarts, or really just any knockoff brand that wasn't the original, bro, they have so much filling inside, so much that it's too much, like, like, they give you more because they know it's a knockoff, it's not as good, freaking name brand pop tarts bro they have just the right amount of filling and the freaking whatever you call the the crust of the pastry pastry is just usually perfectly crunchy and like like, there's a reason they put the amount of filling that they do in regular Pop-Tarts. Anymore, and your mouth just becomes, like, the freaking pastry gets stuck to the roof of your mouth. And, like, you, you don't, you don't want to, want to experience that. Um... But yeah, um, the, the best, the best part though was I lived in Florida and I mean, Southerners will know, Floridians will know, I don't even need to tell you guys, freaking motherfucking Publix is, it's over for, it's over for any other chain rent chain supermarkets in the U.S. after Publix, bro. Publix, that was the greatest treat as a kid. Um, like, and I'm not sure if they still do this. I think, obviously, they still have a deli section and stuff, but when we were kids, um, and let's say we wanted to go to Publix just for one thing. It, it didn't happen often, right? It did not happen often. But when we did go to Publix, me and my brother would get free sugar cookies from from the bakery. Um, I don't know if it was just that store that gave kids a free sugar cookie from the bakery. But, um... Yeah, but also, another treat, the deli sandwiches, holy crap, every time my dad came back with a deli sandwich from Publix, that was a good day, that was a terrific day, um, but, um, yeah, well, well, I mean, what can I say? Public sandwiches are the bomb. Public cookies, the bomb. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, um, but no, and and um, but really, brothers and sisters, people ask why, why it is that, you know, maybe, um, poor families don't invest more in healthier foods and stuff like that. Frankly, it's not because we might not have the money or the time, because I think most people at this point know that it's cheaper to just cook your own food, um, right? But the thing is, if you're working 
a 12 hour jobs or multiple jobs just to try to put food on the table for your kids what's going to sound more appealing the the like one dollar tv dinner that you can buy just a whole bunch of and it'll be ready in in um two three minutes or all these ingredients that are may or may not be expensive and it's gonna take like 30 or 40 minutes to make and um you know which one would you choose really i know which one i would have to choose as a parent right it's um and and the sad part is is that um you know quote me if i'm wrong please correct me if i'm wrong but poor individuals when given the choice between healthier food or the food that they have known all along will choose the the unhealthy food and so it's crazy because that's how they get you hooked at an early age um unfortunately and it's excuse me it's no one's fault right um because just people are 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 poor i don't know there's something that that might be in there about the industrial revolution and its economic consequences <laughs> something you know mm, capitalism maybe i don't know about that um brothers and sisters that's just my my thoughts um but yeah and and obviously there's food insecurity like i mean my last days in florida when when my dad was literally um literally didn't have a job um we literally had to go to food banks and we would get again just the the crappiest somehow stuff that will make you gain weight but yet at the same time be like literal malnourishment literal malnourishment um, but, <clears throat> but, but, yeah, um, I, 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 I don't know what to say. Food insecurity is also, like, just, just terrible, guys. Um, but, yeah, those are my experiences with food and poverty.